let's take a look at a couple more arpeggios that would fit nicely to the A minor chord and arpeggio right here. A minor. Now let's take an E7 like this. Okay, then let's take a D minor. And then again the E7. And then the A minor. A very classical sounding progression, in fact, and a lot of violinists play arpeggios as a means of expression across the instrument. Okay, connecting, let's take that E7 and take it here. Okay, this is really the C shape, E. There's our seventh. Okay, let's take D minor here. And then let's go to the A shape of E for the E7 here. Okay, I'm going to play these arpeggios by skipping back and forth between some of the notes. I'm going to go the always down one note from the next highest. So I'm going to go here, root, fifth, third, root, fifth, third, root, fifth, like that, and then we're going to move to the next chord. And we're going to continue like that. We're going to go down. E, seventh arpeggio, and then move to the next chord. That's D minor in its A minor shape, and then we'll come here and come down this. I'm going to switch on the delay now. Okay, so now we have a distinct delay. By playing these notes now, they're going to start to harmonize with one another, and this makes a really interesting effect that can be used, and we'll see a very real example of how this effect is used with harmonizing actually with two guitars. This is a fun way to do this on one guitar. Let's do it double time. <laughs> 